magical make-believe. Today we're talking about recycling and reusing. Yay! <laughs> so we are making wind chimes and sun catchers. And we're using like found objects and things from a recycling bin, maybe even some stuff you have left over from oh. other projects. Yep. That always happens. You always have things that you didn't exactly. use. So we have things like pieces of straws, beads, strings, leftover or old beads. Definitely ask before you use those. Though. Yes. <laughs> you can even use like an old plastic lid. Yeah. We have, you could use the, the tub itself, like yep. a tub of butter. We have shells. What do you have there? See. Oh, I have something nifty here. These are the pull tabs from like cans of soda. You might need somebody to help you get those off because yes. they can be a little sharp, but they're very fun. And it's easy to file down sharp parts on that too. Yeah. I have left over from a different project a bunch of bottle caps that I had saved and I asked a bunch of friends to help me save. Ooh. And I reused them because these were left over from my wedding. <laughs> oh my goodness. And That's like from fancy glass bottle soda. Yeah, stuff. like I haven't used those in years, so I thought I could reuse them. Exactly. So some ideas we have. <gasps> so I oh no. Did one fell off? One fell off, but you know what? We can fix it. Aha! No, I had an old paper clip, so I used paper clips to stick them on, but you could glue them on. Yeah, if you, you wanted. Glue, you could tape. I have a little tape on here. And what I did for this one is I used a CD. And this one does not want to stay on, and that's okay. And I strung a bunch of beads and shells and a bunch of these pull tabs that I showed you. And then I put them on some fishing line, but if you have string or you have some yarn scraps left over from a project, yep. you can use that. Old shoelaces would work too. Ooh, old shoelaces would work, especially with the pony beads, which yes. have a bigger hole in them. Exactly. And then if you put some string or yarn up through this hole, you can hang this little wind chime. And it makes a nice little noise. You hear that? But it's also nice and colorful. It is. Oh, I bet you some of these beads too are see-through mm. or translucent. So yeah. you can see through them a little bit. The light will shine through them. Oh, that'll make such fun yes. light patterns. And then I did kind of the same thing, but I had different string from a project and I used more beads and more pull tabs and some straws, and I hung it on a paint stirring stick. This is actually one that had been used, but it was dry. Yeah, you could use that, an old ruler, a yeah. stick from your yard, make sure you yes. clean it first. Absolutely, and I just tied the little strings on here, so then if I wanted to add something or I wanted to change them out later, I could. You could hang these indoors too. So they don't necessarily have to be for outdoors. You could decorate a room with these. <gasps> or decorate like it by a window. In the window. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, I that'd be fun. also used an old paint stirrer, but I used some fishing line and those bottle caps and I painted on them to give me some bright colors. I tried some string too, just to see if it would work. I think I liked the fishing line with this better. But they made oh. awesome. It's a nice little sound. Oh, that's so fun. And then a fun one that I found. Do you want to take one? <laughs> I would love to. These are old plastic bottles. I was gonna say, if I can kind of get it back together, just like an old water bottle. Yep. These ones were soda bottles and I painted on them and then I cut them, which you need to ask an adult for help here. Yes, the plastic, depending on the kind of bottle, the plastic can get a little sharp. Yep. So definitely get help with that. And you can hang these anywhere and then they'll move <gasps> in the wind. And depending on how thick you cut it, depends on 
how curly it'll be. So this one I have big strips. This one was a little bit thinner, and then this one was really thin, so it ended up long. But you can paint it however you like. And you can either just tape or glue mm -hmm. a hanger to the top, or if your parent or caregiver wants to put a hole yep. in the top of the bottle cap. Speaking of this kind of bottle cap, the that plastic would bottle cap. Perfect for this as that well. Works too. And there are so many different sizes and colors. Oh, and you can color on them. I used for these, I used a paint marker, but you can use like a regular paint marker if you want, like a, a like a Sharpie or um, yes. just regular paint. But you might not want to use like a Crayola marker because that might not stick as well. You might end up with very messy hands. Yes. <laughs> But you can use all sorts of things yeah. to make cool little wind chimes or sun catchers, just pretty colors and sounds. Kind of explore, I saw some that were old silverware. Ooh. I saw one made of old wooden spoons. And I was just thinking too, it's almost a good time to start wandering outside, maybe mm. tying some pretty little pebbles. Yes. Or or something like that. Yes. You can make a whole nature themed one <gasps> with a stick. Yes. That'd be really fun. That would be very fun, actually. I would love to do a stick one with right, with the sticks. I like painting on things. <laughs> so yeah. So we thought we'd just bring that fun little thing for you. And then, Becca, what's coming up next? It's your magical make believe. Summer's coming up, Yay. which means summer reading. Yay! And we are going on adventures this year. We are. We have some great things planned for Magical Make Believe this summer, and we're going to go on some little adventures of yes. our own in Merrimack. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye.